Hello Aquarius, Aquarius Rising, and Aquarius Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting March 12th, 2018. And just a quick reminder for all of y'all out there, remember if you are a Patreon pledger or you're interested in Patreon, the next set of bi-weekly horoscopes will be coming up overnight, Thursday, Friday, this week to cover the duration of March. And if you're interested in more about that, you can always follow the links below, or you can just go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. I've got a link to that information there. And it's the same place you'd go to get a session with me anyway. So what's going on with your astrology this week? You'll have to excuse the cat hair. I had Persephone up here for a visit for the last couple of videos. So, <clears throat> when it comes to your astrology this week, on Tuesday we've got Venus, planet of love, harmony, and affection. In your third house of communications, packs of promises, forming a tense square to Saturn in your 12th house, so you're past your privacy and your hidden zone. And it looks like there may be um, some weirdness going on between friends uh, or, or people who are there to help you. Uh, if there's a challenge in your support system where somebody uh, recently knew or perhaps recently returned is kind of outshining somebody who has seniority in your life as a friend. Um, this can happen sometimes, uh, but when we talk about jealousy and insecurity, we're usually talking about Venus square Saturn. And if there's somebody new, or again, somebody who's, you know, relatively in and out of your life, you know, somebody who's not normally a part of your inner circle, starting to outshine somebody who is in your inner circle, you know, you may not necessarily think of it as a bad thing. Well, why would it be? You know, this person's doing good for you, this person's caring about you, this person's really stepping up to the plate. But somebody who may be taking time spent in the inner circle for granted may not be so happy. And you may actually have to confront some jealousy or some insecurities about a person who, for all accounts, is not actually doing all that they could, but is acting a bit entitled and also getting a bit possessive and jealous of something they're not taking very good care of. And so it could be an interesting interaction going on within the clique. On Wednesday, we've got Mars, Planet of Action, Energy, uh, and Passion in your 11th house of friendships and social networking, forming a square to Chiron in your earned income sector. And this can ultimately be a good thing. However, again, it is coming with its share of conflict. Um, this is a conflict that will bring healing or the settling or putting of an old issue or an old matter to rest as it relates to a friend and income or a friend that we may work with or a friend who seems very, very involved with our work life, our economic life in whatever way. Uh, this could be a fight or an altercation. This could be an argument. And again, it looks like a lot of you um, Aquarius people are in charge of sort of ironing out some of the wrinkles that have been going on in your friendships this week. Some of you may be having an argument with a friend over uh, maybe what you're choosing to do with a living. Some people like to overstep their bounds and have some very, very interesting opinions. Sometimes, you know, this could be a work friend overstepping their bounds and sort of insinuating themselves into situations they shouldn't. Either way, we're calling out something that we know has been sort of a pattern with this individual and hopefully setting the, you know, the record straight and again this issue to rest. Um, it may not be comfortable, but it may be necessary. So what's going on with your cards? Well, <coughs> excuse me. For your spiritual advice, you have the card of the Earth Sector. Of the Earth, not Earth Sector. I do this too much, this is what happens. Uh, when it comes to Earth, all right, the prompt reads, utilize logic, reason, and common sense. Uh, this is going to be a week where I think that trying to settle everything with too much of an emotional mind um, is not the answer. You know, we're talking about friends. We're talking about, um, you know, the emotional currency going on between us. Letting that do more talking than actions. Letting that do more talking than results. Letting that do more talking than figures isn't always the best thing to do. You know, we have to strike a balance, and this week is all about paying attention to where has that balance gone too much one way when it needs to be back in the middle. This could be a week where you are doing a lot of quantifying um, of how people treat you and how people perform with you, and you're handling it in a way, and you should handle it this way, where you're actually taking very real stock of, again, actions and results versus intentions and time spent. And with the Earth card, you know, sometimes that might not necessarily always win us the biggest points. 
you know, sometimes we're expected to put up with a lot more again than we should, or we're kind of conditioned to think that, well, I can't look at that person in that light because he or she has been my friend for ages, or, you know, they say this, or they do this, or they used to be really cool, and this... Again, all of this week is all about you making sure that you're paying attention to, again, what is in cold hard facts or what's out there, again, um, in facts and figures versus your emotions this week. And it may change things up, but it may also help the people who are, let's just say, having the most trouble with you doing it this way, realize where they truly stand and what they need to do to get right with you. For your Earth sector, when it comes to your work and finances, we've got the Three of Wands reversed. Um, you know, a lot of issues that could come up with work and with money this week seem to be coming up for people not handling the ball when it's in their court. Usually the Three of Wands refers can indicate delays, um, delayed deliveries, when it's delayed, when we're talking delayed deliveries, whether it's, um, you know, you may actually have to go and play the role of enforcer and, you know, doing a lot of checking up when it comes to things like deposits. If somebody's really depositing something in your bank account like they're supposed to, making sure a check is cleared, making sure a payment that you've sent is actually being put on the record on time. Because the Three of Wands Reverse is warning of slip-ups this week. Now, we are getting close to a Mercury retrograde. It's not happening yet, though. Um, but you need to be careful with the Three of Wands Reverse not to assume that just because the ball's in somebody's court is that they're actually handling it with due diligence. The same thing can go for those of you looking for new work. Your application could be very well getting you a job, if not for somebody not, you know, who's leaving it on the desk, not checking the email, letting it collect dust. It doesn't mean that you can't get anywhere this week, but if you were hoping to have an easy breezy hands-off time when it comes to your earth sector, think again. I think that you're going to have to step in and actually do some serious checking in and again forcing the follow-through. For your communications with air when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we have the Nine of Pentacles upright. And the Nine of Pentacles, fabulous. Honestly, this could be an early payoff coming your way uh, through an effort that you've made with a friend or a family member. Just be careful again, like we saw with the astrology, while one person is freaking shining, you know, bright and, and, and becoming, you know, an MVP in your life, another person may not necessarily um, think too kindly of that, even though he or she has been fairly sluggish in recent weeks, months, possibly years. The Nine of Pentacles can indicate a friend or a relative really going to bat for you, and again, basically doing the work that you're getting paid for and allowing you to keep the cash. I'm not sure if this is literally or figuratively speaking. Sometimes the Nine of Pentacles can indicate a breakthrough that somebody has made um, in a situation where the two of you are normally working together as a team, but they've decided to strike out and get ahead for the both of you. And there should, could be some good news coming your way about, again, an early payoff from his or her efforts. Here we go. For your challenge this week with fire, we've got the King of Wands reversed. And, you know, this week is going to be all about, again, somebody who just can't seem to finish what they start. And when we talk about the King of Wands reversed, we do get that very flaky, sort of, you know, deteriorating motivation, deteriorated effort, deteriorating investment from another individual. Most likely a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, or somebody with those qualities in their chart very heavily, or somebody who embodies that sort of, you know, very fiery, uh, passionate type of nature, but with the King of Wands reversed, it's, it's disorganized, it's unnurtured, it's kind of scattered. Usually with the King of Wands reversed, um, we can see a situation where, again, if a person's not finishing what they've started or what they're supposed to do, we have to go in and enforce. This may be a friend, this may be, again, somebody we're working with, this could even be um, a family member who, again, seems to be dropping the ball whenever it's their turn. And I, I feel like with the King of Wands reversed, it's not like there's really a good reason for this anymore. Uh, that's one of the things that you tend to see with the King of Wands reversed. Now we might say, oh, this person's distracted, yeah, uh, or this person has going through some stuff, okay. But with the King of Wands reversed, there isn't an excuse in the present. And sometimes their past excuses have long been, you know, have, have long gone off when it comes to their expiration date, or their use-by date, or their sell-by date. And so there may be a need to, again, have a, either a talk, or make some distance with him or her. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we do have the Nine of Wands upright. A lot of you Aquarian people may be volunteering yourselves to take some space from love this week, and that's okay. The Nine of Wands can indicate a, time, a, a week, it's just a weekly horoscope, right? We don't, I mean, I hope nobody comes to these weekly horoscopes hoping I'm talking about for all time. 
Um, you know, the Nine of Wands can indicate a situation where you are going to be feeling the need to take a break um, and take some time for yourself to recharge your batteries or get your other life affairs in order. The Nine of Wands can show up where we do have people interested in us yet, but at the same time, you are the one who's going to be deciding to make them wait. Now, the Nine of Wands can also show up where a person shows up in our lives that may accidentally push some buttons because they remind us of somebody else, and we want to make sure that we are not being overly protective of ourselves in this situation. This person could very well be a very nice catch, even though they may remind us of somebody who was not. For those of you who are currently coupled, the Nine of Wands upright does indicate, again, you may be feeling like you do need to take a little bit of space or some me time away from a partner, and that's totally okay. But with the Nine of Wands, we want to make sure that they don't think it's their fault. They could be getting a bit crowding, they could be getting a bit needy, or they might just be a bit more enthusiastic and energetic about the relationship in a way that you kind of feel like, look, I don't have time. Uh, and it's not to say that there's anything wrong with saying you don't have time. Sometimes we just need a damn week. But not everyone understands that, and sometimes that will translate to things that you don't intend for another person to think or to jump to conclusions about. Make sure that your partner is well informed about the fact that, you know, this it's, it's definitely not them. Hell, it's not you. It's, you know, just that kind of week if you decide you need to take that breathing room. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.